for in fifth grade stuff, I would stay in for recess and like not go out because I wanted to like, do all this stuff. You have to think about like everything. Even just like going outside and be like, oh, this is a nice day today. A lot of music and like a lot of friends hanging out and stuff. New experiences, movies, like, a lot of visual things. Look at them and like just be curious. So I'm on the in like kindergarten and stuff, like my teachers, like I'd just be drawing like things. Yeah, like, do your work. <laughs> like what are you doing? I got serious about doing art in high school. I had a really good teacher, I had her for like four years and started to work my way up to like AP art and I got really into it then. That was cool that I had my own little, my own group of creations that was like completely original, not necessarily assignments. So I kind of enjoyed the process of that and that's why I wanted to like take my own painting classes and stuff. I did um, Miguel Bormans, he's a Belgian, Belgian painter. They're not surrealist by any means, but they're more like, he does portraits of people and does them in like a loose painted way. It's something off about it, something weird, something morbid, kind of like, you don't know what's going on with them, but they're there, you wonder why. A little bit unknown, so I kind of like that about his work. capturing people. I like the symbolism of like birds, like the albatross, yeah. the ravens and stuff. It kind of goes in in sync with people and how they feel. Even if they're not a face or like a body, it's kind of capturing aspects of something. I probably, I mean, I'm not done with it, but probably this one because it's the biggest thing I've done, closer to what I want to do in the future, in an embodiment of the direction I'm going in. This one too, more idea wise, but I know that that's not finished either, so it's like kind of the, the battle you have with yourself, whether like things are done and if you're happy with them, but also I know what I want. But sometimes I just can't make it happen right then. It's too like, peak. Andrew, our friend Andrew, <laughs> Mono for me. And so this project that we did for the piece, my teacher wanted us to pick an artist that inspired us, which I chose Nico Borman's. And Make, make something your own, but with anything of, that they use, like whether it be their style, subject, make it your own, but use them as an inspiration. So I used, I used him, and I instantly had the idea with his work, with something being a little off about it. After like watching Game of Thrones, like, the best, that's where I got like the idea of like the ravens. So I wanted to have Andrew sitting here, looking at the dead ravens. You don't know what he's thinking. And you don't know why the ravens are there, what happened to them. Did he do it? I don't know. I wanted it to be big in scale because it feels more powerful over you rather than if it were like just like small, like this size, you wouldn't get the same effect. If you're standing like eye to eye with a six foot tall painting, you can maybe relate more to it, feel more from it, rather than if it was just a little piece. So I kind of wanted to have like an overpoweredness of whatever you take from it. Theoretically, I would just like to make art, but that's like not realistic. So I don't know what, what I want to do with it in the long run, but for personal reasons, I would just keep making and expanding yeah, my yeah. knowledge of art, and trying to explore different like, fields of it maybe, but I don't, I don't know, it's kind of an open-ended book, if you will. 